What's up, Raider Nation? How you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a great day. The Las Vegas Raiders has recently debuted their schedule for the upcoming 2024 season, and I would like to go over it and predict some wins and losses and tell you guys my take on this. So let's get straight to it. Week one to kick things off, the Las Vegas Raiders will be at the Los Angeles Chargers. This game, I believe the Raiders will come out victorious. It'll be the first game where Jim Harbaugh debuts as the Los Angeles Chargers head coach. He still has to iron things out over there. And the Chargers lost a lot of players in depth, and they have a lot of rookies playing on their squad. So, which is why I think the Raiders will come out victorious. Week two, the Las Vegas Raiders are going against the Baltimore Ravens. Back-to-back -back duels with the Harbaugh brothers. This game, I believe it'll be a tough one, but I ultimately, I believe the Baltimore Ravens will win against us in this game. They're a really good team. They're really good overall. They have a stellar defense and a good offense, but the Raiders are good too, but I think this game, we're gonna come up short. Week three, the Las Vegas Raiders will be at home against the Carolina Panthers. This game, I believe, should be a cakewalk, and we should win this game no problem. Week four, we play at home against the Cleveland Browns. This game could be a sneaky game here, and it's all gonna fall on Deshaun Watson and how the Cleveland Browns react and rebound with Deshaun Watson under center over there at Cleveland. I believe a lot of people still doubt Cleveland, and I believe that Cleveland is still a good team, and if Deshaun Watson could come out and play as MVP form, then that's gonna be scary. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I believe the Las Vegas Raiders definitely have the firepower, the defense, and the will to win to prevail over the Cleveland Browns. Which is why I believe at the end of the day, the Las Vegas Raiders will come out on top and get a victory here. Week five, we'll be playing at Denver. I believe this game will be an easy game to win also as well. We've been beating Denver for quite some time now. Um, and I don't believe Bo Nix will be there yet, and I don't think he's going to be the uh, upper echelon quarterback as a lot of the analysts on uh, TV and other uh, outlets believe that he's going to be. And I think ultimately at the end, the Raiders are going to get the victory, and this should be a cakewalk. Week six, the Las Vegas Raiders will be at home playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, it doesn't matter who's under center for Pittsburgh. Rather, it's Russell Wilson, Mr. Unlimited himself, or Justin Fields. I believe the Raiders will come out victorious in this game. I just believe on paper and just in general, the Raiders right now are a better team than the Pittsburgh Steelers. Week seven will be at home playing the Los Angeles Rams. This game, I believe, is going to be a competitive game. Uh, the Rams, they're uh, not no scrub team either. They have a good quarterback, Matthew Stafford. They have the weapons in Puka Nakua. They have Cooper Cup. And it looks like they have a promising upcoming star in Kyron Williams. So that uh, could be a game, uh, another sleeper game to watch out for. In the end, I believe that Aiden O'Connell and the Raiders will get the victory in this game. But it's gonna be close and it's gonna be a competitive game. I wouldn't uh, doubt it if this game is won by a field goal or it's gonna be under six points. Now, week eight, we are at home against the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Now this game is gonna be interesting. You know, the Chiefs are gonna be coming out with a chip on their shoulder and they're definitely gonna to wanna to get the victory over us. But since we're at home, I'm gonna give the advantage to the Las Vegas Raiders. I'm not being biased. I'm not trying to uh, play any hero ball or anything like that or be favoring, you know, our, our team. I'm just trying to be, you know, real realistic with all the picks that I'm making here. And I do believe that the Raiders will ultimately come out victorious in this game in our week, uh, in our first battle, in our first matchup with the Kansas City Chiefs here this season. Week nine, the Las Vegas Raiders will be on the road against the Cincinnati Bengals. Now I know a lot of people that I've watched and I've listened to, they have uh, the Bengals favored over the, over us, over the Las Vegas Raiders in this game. But I personally believe that we could stand toe to toe with the Bengals. At the end of the day, we could stand toe to toe with any team uh, in the NFL. I'm just being honest. But um, this game here, I definitely that we could defeat the Bengals. Um, and I just see us uh, getting the victory at the end of the day, uh, day here. 
Um, this is going to be another close battle, a tough matchup with the Bengals. Uh, the Bengals have uh, weapons too, and um, we're we're going to see, you know, um, how things pan out during that game. But I think we're going to be victorious. Week ten, the Las Vegas Raiders have a bye week. And it's right smack middle in the schedule for the Las Vegas Raiders, which I believe is perfect. It's right in the middle of the season. I could get their rest in and get ready for the upcoming slew of games that's ahead of them. Week 11, we'll be playing at Miami versus the Dolphins. Now, this game is going to be a very, uh, I believe it's going to be a high scoring uh, offensive game. Uh, the Dolphins definitely, without a doubt, have weapons on their side. But at the end of the day, it's going to be all on the Dolphins quarterback. Tua Tagovailoa, that's going to that's gonna be the ultimate deciding factor for the Dolphins, whether they're going to be victorious or not. But I believe, based on his up and down play, um, I'm going to have to give this one to the Raiders as well. Um, I just believe that we're going to come out victorious. Because I feel like we're going to play um, a solid game where we barely make or make no mistakes no errors we play good fundamental football and we're gonna emerge victorious at the end of the day against the Miami Dolphins week 12 the Las Vegas Raiders will be at home against the Denver Broncos this game I believe we're gonna win again um, I believe the Broncos will come out a little bit tougher than the first uh, matchup earlier uh, in, in the season but uh, at the end of the day, we're going to beat the Broncos. I don't see really much, uh, that much improvement in Denver's game. And we're going to sweep them. Week 13, the Las Vegas Raiders will be on the road playing, the, once again, the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. This game, I believe that the Chiefs will emerge victorious over us um, they're a really good team they're not as good as they were last year um, they lost some uh, some weapons on their side um, they don't have a Jerry Sneed anymore um, but at the end of the day um, you know uh, I hate to say it but Mahomes the moments the Mahomes magic you know it, it's it's there it's true um, and I believe that Andy Reid, Chiefs, and company um, are going to find a way to beat the Las Vegas Raiders. So this is where I see uh, us splitting with the Kansas City Chiefs. Week 14, we'll be on the road once again playing against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This game, I believe we're going to win. Um, I'm not buying into the whole hype of Baker Mayfield. Last season, um, I believe, he, yes, for sure, he had a good year, but I'm not sold on it. Um, I'm not sold on him. Um, once again, he did have a good year, but I don't think he's gonna put up the same numbers that he did uh, last season. And um, at the end of the day, I just believe, just in general, our team, Las Vegas Raiders, is better uh, on paper and uh, in person, and we're, we're gonna just uh, beat them. Um, I can see us beating uh, Tampa Bay by at least 10 points. Week 15, we'll be at home playing against the Dirty Birds, the Atlanta Falcons. Now this game is gonna be a very interesting game here. Um, Kirk Cousins, barring no injuries, uh, he should be the starting quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons. And this is gonna be a very intriguing here because the Falcons have a good running back. Um, they have a good uh, tight end, Kyle Pitts. You know, um, Kirk Cousins has weapons for sure to uh, throw to. Um, our offense can match up with their offense. Um, our defense, I believe, is better than the Falcons' defense. But at the, but at the end of the day, I, I'm not being biased at all. I believe that the Las Vegas Raiders will get the job done. And um, it's going to be a tough competitive game. But we'll be victorious at the end of the day. Week 16, we're going against the Jacksonville Jaguars. We'll be playing at home. I believe this is another game that we're going to win. Um, Trevor Lawrence is a good quarterback. Don't get me wrong, but I just feel like, once again, we have the weapons, we have the defense, we have the offense, and uh, we could definitely uh, beat Jacksonville. Um, I see us uh, winning by at least uh, 10 points, once again, um, and... 
uh, that's just how I feel about this game. So at the end of the day, we're gonna uh, emerge victorious against Jacksonville Jaguars. Week 17, a special game for me and for a lot of the Raider fans, the Raider Nation out there in general. The Las Vegas Raiders will be on the road against no other than Derek Carr and the New Orleans Saints. Now I know there's a lot of Raider fans, a lot of people in the Raider Nation still admire and love Derek Carr. I got a personal friend of mine, personal close friend of mine, who's a diehard Derek Carr fan. Now this is gonna be a great game to watch because it's gonna be uh, the first time that uh, Derek Carr gets to actually play against the Las Vegas Raiders. And I'm just looking forward to the matchup between Aiden O'Connell and Derek Carr. Um, I believe that the Raiders are gonna dominate this game. I believe AOC is, is gonna wanna show his worth and he's gonna wanna light up the scoreboard against the Saints. And um, I don't see uh, Derek Carr performing uh, up to a level uh, that he should be performing to to, to get the win over us anyway. Plus, he doesn't really have, you know, a lot of uh, weapons there that are a threat. Uh, yeah, he has Kamara, but um, besides Kamara and Chris Olave, I don't really see that much uh, firepower there for the Saints. And at the end of the day, the Raiders have better weapons on offense and on defense than the Saints. So I'm looking much, looking forward to that game a lot. So I can't wait for that one. And once again, the Raiders will come out victorious against the New Orleans Saints by at least two touchdowns. And last but not least, the Las Vegas Raiders will be playing against the Los Angeles Chargers. This game here, this one's gonna be tougher than our season opener week one because I feel like by this time, you know, Jim Harbaugh is an incredible coach. I hate to say it. And um, if you've been following me for quite some time, you would know that, you know, hey, I was an advocate for Jim Harbaugh as coach rather than Antonio Pierce, but things didn't work out that way. But hey, you know, Antonio Pierce is our coach. So I'm gonna roll with Antonio Pierce as our guy. Jim Harbaugh is the enemy. But this leg going to the season, I believe uh, Jim Harbaugh will kind of iron things out. Uh, he'll know what he has uh, with his team. Um, he'll have Justin Herbert firing on all cylinders. They don't have um, Austin Eckler uh, no more, um, which is a great, great uh, benefit for the Raiders here. But um, this game here, you know, I could uh, see the Chargers uh, trying to squeeze and edge out a victory over us. But still, at the end of the day, I think that we're going to prevail over the Chargers and Jim Harbaugh and Justin Herbert. It's gonna be tough, but we're gonna get the job done. So Raider Nation, at the end of the day, with my uh, predictions here, with the updated schedule here, um, I believe that the Raiders are all, will only lose two games this season here. Um, I believe that we're, gonna, that we're gonna lose week two against uh, Baltimore, and uh, we're gonna lose uh, week 13 against the Chiefs. That's where we have a split with the Chiefs in our division. I believe um, we're gonna dominate our division. We're gonna sweep the Chargers. We're gonna sweep the uh, Broncos. And we are going to split with the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, Worst comes the worst. Uh, I've always been uh, saying this here. If you've been watching me and on Raider D podcast or on Raider Nation Hotspot, I always said that we would win at least. Now this is the worst comes the worst. At least ten games minimum, and at the very worst, we're gonna make the playoffs, being in the wild card race in the hunt. So that's just how I feel overall in general. Um, I'm very happy that the uh, uh, Raiders finally got this schedule uh, release as it was announced. I've been hearing a lot of uh, leaks of games here and there, but I didn't want to post anything or make any content until something was set in stone that was official. So that's why I'm making this video now. I didn't forget about you guys, Raider Nation. I spent a little extremely busy with personal stuff, work and family here. I just had to tend to those things, but my passion is also sharing my Raider knowledge and my insight with you guys as well. So, um, yeah, guys, so um, stay uh, tuned here. And I want to know what you guys think. Uh, what do you think that the Raiders are going to get? What is the total wins and losses for you on your side? 
Um, do you, what do you guys think of the strength of the Raiders uh, schedule that we have here? I want to know you guys' comments and inputs, as usual, in the comments below. Uh, stay tuned. Um, I always uh, jump on my boys uh, live, which is Raider D and Raider Nation Hotspot, a.k.a. Hot Beavers. Um, so make sure you check them out and you sub to them also as well. But um, I just want to make this uh, video here for you guys so that way you know my intake and my input on what's going on here. I want to make it short. Well, not short, but I wanted to get straight to the point. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. And I look forward for more uh, content. I always drop something every single week. And uh, I just like to stay engaged and in tune with Raider Nation in general. So once again, this is your boy Western Conference here. Uh, thank you guys so much for always being there and watching and liking and subbing and uh, just my content in general. You know, I, I, I appreciate appreciate you guys so much. All right, Raider Nation, I'm going to log off. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to uh, end this video here and uh, keep it cool, keep it light, keep it cordial. All right, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.